Hello and welcome to Let's Get This Bread. I'm your host Cameron, the gingerbread man, Ralph. And today we're going to be reviewing Robert's Thick Soft White Toasty Bread. Not the most popular of loaves. Usually people go for the Warburton's when it comes to a thick slice. But I've heard a lot of praise. I've heard a lot, a lot of praise. You know, this uh, loaf, encouraging to give it a squeeze. So obviously knows what it's on about. So we go do what it asks. You know, give it a squeeze. First thing I notice, extremely soft. Extremely soft. A little bit of spring. A little bit of spring. So... I'm expecting a good middle part, but the crust, I'm curious, very, very curious. If you take a look at it, it appears the people who make the bread cannot cook evenly, as we have uh, uneven dark patches across the bread. So obviously they've got some special people in control of cooking it. And the people are advertising say, have you tried it with hummus, fried chorizo and cucumber ribbons, which Suggest to me the people in, tar in charge of advertising do like toast. They're those kind of people. So we're going to jump straight into trying the bread. I've got the usual. It's a standard shape. I'm going to try the crust first and the butter. The standard procedures as it goes. I'm going to try the dark bit first. I'm expecting it to be a little bland. There's not much to it, but it's quite firm and doesn't crumble at all. No crumble, but... Dark, so I'm expecting a bit of a bad taste from it. Straight off the bat, all I can taste is burnt. This is bringing PTSD of when I had to try toast back in Nam. So, uh, not enjoying the PTSD. I'm not enjoying the PTSD. It's quite chewy for a crust. I don't know why. And it tastes burnt. On to the bread now. It feels very soft. This is like an edible pillow. Let's just pretend the crust never happened. It's, this is an edible pillow. I could go to sleep on it and uh, I could eat it. It ve looks very nice. So I'm going to give it a nibble. It doesn't tear very easily. Soft but dense. The density kind of can hide that softness. They give it another bite. It is very fluffy, very fluffy, very soft, but a little bit dense, which is rare in a bread. Usually they go not too dense as to save ingredients, but it comes on a bit heavy. It's a bit bland. For a toasty, there's, it's not too sweet. It's not too sweet, which can be good if using it as a a base bread. On general taste though, um, it, sl it slacks a little bit, it slacks. So I'm going to try a bit of butter, a bit of butter. Hey presto, this bread supports butter like no other combination I've seen. That is amazing. This is phenomenal. This is the best pairing since Cosby and sleeping pills, this is, this is fantastic, this is. So I'm gonna give this, no butter, only a five out of 10, the crust lets it down, very dense, not much taste, but oh my God, with butter, doesn't it half support it? It's a outstanding taste. The blandness is fine, because there's no sweetness to overpower the butter. The texture is slightly better as the denseness is taken away by the butter and it's still light and fluffy. Obviously, we're just going to ignore the crust, so five out of 10 for that. And I'm gonna give this an eight out of 10 with the butter. Very nice, very impressed from Roberts. Not your main brand, very cheap, only one pound and five pence. Would recommend die, uh, buying if you are extremely poor. Would recommend. Anyway, thank you for joining me. Leave the bread you want to see reviewed next in the comments, and I will see you next Wednesday. Thank you for joining us. Let's get spread.